Hi guys, so I thought I'd do like a follow-up video from what I did last time about cunning folk, charmers, fortune tellers and witches and talk about recommended books um, which I think is useful to read on um, in regards to these, the four main sort of um, magical practitioners. Um, so we'll go straight into it. So first of all, the the one which I think um, is just a basis, um, just a light read, um, Cunning Folk is White Magic and the Cunning Folk by Karen O'Brien. Um, so and that is Charms and Blessings from Northwest England. This is um this is just like a introduction into um Cunning Folk really. Although it does go into like charms, uh, from the the Northwest area of England, um, and talks about like walk cunning and. Uh, and whatnot. So that's a good one as a kind of beginner um, sort of introductionary into cunning folk and charms and that such. This next one, which I think is a brilliant if you want to get a really in-depth meaty information regards to cunning folk is Owen Davies' uh, Poplar Magic, Cunning Folk in English History. Now, he does mostly go focus on English cunning folk um, and charmers and whatnot, but he also touches on a broad spectrum of a whole of the British Isles. So he does talk about Scotland as well and a bit about Northern Ireland. Um, and what he's brilliant is about this book. So he only not only just go into the accounts of Cunning Folk, how they work to service, how they they were to the community, um, and how important they were, and how sometimes they would get caught up in the whole witch craze, depending if their clients would just displeased um but also he talks about the actual differences of what a charmer is to what a cunning folk is to what the urban and the rural cunning folk and their differences also like he talks about classes so he talks about like um people who are the bottom class of society are using more folk magic as opposed to like people who are educated other classes are using more grimoire however there's an interchange with that so he explains that brilliantly next one is emma will be cunning folk and familiar spirits uh, shamanic visionary traditions in early modern British witchcraft and magic. Now she is again like Owen Davis. Um, Davis uh, is talking about cunning folk and the accounts, but she takes it further. And she, she, um, her theory and her thesis is all about that these accounts through witch trials, um, like the sabbatic rites and whatnot, and familiar spirits. Are she, she is um, like a. She is going on the point where it, these are remnants are like ancient um, British shamanistic practices. I don't like really like saying that word shamanistic, but um, I know within academia that we use that as in a term of like um, visionary and sp deep spiritual work. So, um, however, like I think, um, although with that brilliant, I think she does the certain points where she goes too depth into that. It may come onto lines of like sort of. Um, I don't want to say M Margaret Murray, but um, I do like her her direction in that. Next, um, I would say if you want to know about what cunning folk were doing and their practices, their charms, I would go for the Cunning Man's Handbook by Jim Baker. This is it should have been called a Bible. Um, it's not something you read through in a night, that's for sure. Um, and it's used as a good reference um, book, really. So it goes about the divination practices, the spells, the charms, that cunning folk between the eras of 1550 to 1900 were using around these times and what were quite popular. And also talks about, um, you know, spells from grimoire, grimoires and, and that such. Next, if you want to look into sort of charms and what charmers were doing, like people who were charming warts, stopping blood, that sort of thing, I would go for this, which is quite expensive now. So this is Charms, Charmers and Charming, International Research on Verbal Magic, edited by Jonathan Roper. And it's by, um, it's by uh, Palgrave Press. Um, it's a bit of an expensive book now, um, 
because they generally are inexpensive publishers, but it, it's brilliant. Like it goes on, it, it takes accounts from different parts of Europe, um, what certain charmers we're using, um, like for example, um, you know, Finnish snake charms. Uh, so charming venom from snakes. Um, it talks about, um, you know, Germanic forms of charming. Um, and it not only just goes into depth of how these charmers were work operating, but also gives you the charms that they were using, what were popular around Europe at this time. So that's a good one. So there, so that is the sort of, I would recommend the, the main books that you want to start on. Um, I would recommend in, if you want to really like in-depth look into cunning folk, charmers, fortune tellers and witches in a historical sense and also something you can take onto yourself and incorporate into your own practice. So yeah, that's for now. Blessings to you all.